Hi, I've been working the advent of code 2020 problems, and I'm on day 14 docking data, and I want to show you my solution in Rust. Um, you could read the full description, but the idea is we have input data that looks like this. We have a mask and then this kind of assignment statement. So imagine that we're storing an 11 in memory location 8, um, but only after applying this mask. So the mask has X's, which mean leave the bits alone, and 1's, which mean always turn that bit on, and zeros, which mean always turn that bit off. So let's look at the code, and maybe we'll uh, walk through it in the debugger so you can see what's going on. OK, here's the test data. And the first line is mask equals, and then these 36 characters, the x's, the ones, and the zeros, and then these three sort of assignment statements. Uh, so how do I parse these lines with regular expressions? Here's a regular expression for the mask equals line, and it expects to find x1 or 0 36 times. And then the regex for the mem assignment lines is mem, and then a left square bracket, and then a number, and then a right square bracket. And we open the file and go through all the lines in the file, and then use the two regexes. So this first um, statement here looks through the mask, uh, applies the mask regex, and if it finds anything, then it runs the code below and um, captures of one gets the first capture group. Notice here there are parentheses around this, so that's a capture group. So we capture the mask. We ignore the MASK space equal sign space, and we get the rest. OK, then what do we need to do with this? We have to turn this string of characters into something with numbers and bits for flipping bits on and off. So we have a variable that keeps track of which power of 2 we're working on. So this leftmost x represents 2 to the 35th and 2 to the 34th, all the way down to 2 to the 0th. So we start at 35. You'll see it's changed to 35 here. And then we create these unsigned 64-bit uh, integers to hold the bits that must be turned off and the bits that must be turned on. And we're building these off bits and on bits from a loop where we take the characters from the mask. So in the loop, we decrement the power of 2 and then we um, produce a number which is 1 shifted left by the 2 power. So um, for this leftmost character, it's 2 to the 35. And then we look and see if we have a 0 here or a 1 here. And if we have a 0 here, we turn on this off bits. We turn on the appropriate bit in off bits. And same thing for the on bits. And then we build a mask, uh, an or mask for the on bits, and an and mask for the uh, f flipping of the off bits. Um, this will be more clear when I run through in the debugger. And then, uh, so that's dealing with the mask assignments. Then these lines here are for the memory assignments. And if we match that regular expression, then we extract the address and the unmasked value. So here's the address, the 8. Unmasked value is 11. And then we compute the masked value by applying the AND mask and the OR mask. And when I run this, you'll see the intermediate uh, values. And then we insert the masked value at the address into a hash map. And then when we're, when we're done, we print the whole hash map, and we do what the problem asks for, which is to 
provide the sum of all the non-zero values. And I'm using this fold um, method to do that. That seems like there should be a simpler way. There probably is. I'm new to Rust. And then we print that sum of all values. Okay, let's run this and take a look at the output. So here you're seeing um, the mask and then the or mask. So you notice there's a one on right here. So that's the only one in the mask. So we produce this value here. So this, you could imagine this being 36 bits um, wide, but since they're all zeros on the left, that's why you're seeing just these bits. And then this is the AND mask. So every bit here is on except for the one in the position where the zero is. So when you do bitwise ANDing, you have ones where you want to keep things turned on and zeros where you want to turn things off. And then you're seeing here the um, 11 trying to go into position 8. And when we apply the um, anding to turn off this bit, that's the 2 bit. So 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. So it's as if we're subtracting 2 from 11 and then we have 9. And then when we OR on this bit, this is the 64 bit, so we're adding 64 to 9 and getting 73. Uh, same thing, something similar for the other two memory assignments. And then we dump out the hash map of the memory locations and values, and then we sum all the values. Okay, why don't we just take a quick through here, a uh, quick time through here in the debugger. Uh, so I've got a breakpoint here, and we're about to um, get the first line. And the first line is this mask equals something. So now we have the mask string out. And uh, two power is 36. Uh, off and on bits are set to zeros. And now we're going through the characters of the mask. And the bit position, this number here is probably uh, 2 to the 35th power. And then we're looking to see, we're looking for uh, zeros and ones. So let me just put breakpoints here for when we go through and encounter those uh, uh, positions in this mask that are not X's. So let's uh, just run from here. Okay, so now we've found um, this, and we're turning on the on bits at bit position. So bit position is 64, so we're turning that on. Now I'll keep running, and now we've reached the um, this, this zero here. And so we're going to turn on the off bits bit in that position. So um, uh, I kind of wish I could display these in binary here. I don't know how. But you see the 64 bit I talked about before and the 2 bit I talked about before. Now we're creating the OR mask, which is just a copy of, of the on bits. So OR mask has uh, 64 now. And then. Uh, the AND mask is going to be kind of the opposite of the OR bits, or sorry, the opposite of the OFF bits. So AND mask now has this uh, strange value in, in binary. It would, it would look a lot better. Um, OK, and now um, let's continue running. And we get to the next line, and now we are um, parsing the mem assignment thing. So the address is 8. The unmasked value is 11. And now we're going to apply the and mask. So this is how we turn 11 into, into 9, because the and mask is that 2 bit. Now the and mask is the, is the reverse, the flipped bits of the, of the 2 bit. So now the bits off val, bits off val um, has a value of 9. So it's as if we subtracted the 2 from uh, the 11. And now we're oring on the or mask. 
and the OR mask is the 64. So now we get our bits on val of 73, and then we produce this, de this uh, debugging statement here, and uh, we carry on from there. Okay, see you next time.